I just wanted to give you a really quick update. So I'm in week six of my pregnancy and <laughs> I'm so happy because I went to my HCG um, blood test this morning. And I'm <laughs> sorry, I look all crazy. I just wanted to record this as soon as I got good news um, that my HCG has gone up a whole bunch and it is almost at 8,000 now, which is amazing. And the lady sounded really excited on the phone that everything is going awesome so far really great and she said there's no more um, no clinical need to do any more blood tests so we've graduated to ultrasounds which is so exciting it's amazing um, and when I'm eight weeks I'm gonna have my first ultrasound so hopefully everything goes really well then and we're so excited yeah I'm so happy that's amazing almost 8,000 that's crazy <laughs> so excited <laughs> wish us good luck with everything guys um, hopefully our little baby is growing strong and um, keeps on growing bigger and bigger and bigger. Some of my symptoms, I'm so, so exhausted. It's just ridiculous. I have to lay down, like, and I usually have at least one nap a day, which I never, ever nap. I'm a complete night owl, only need, like, two hours to survive during the day. Um, and now I'm just, like, need sleep all the time or I'm completely a zombie. Um, yeah. And so, the other thing is, I am extremely emotional. One second I'm like, yeah, everything's great, I'm so happy. And then the next second I'm just, oh, just like so depressed and so sad. Um, and just all over the place. Um, and then I'll see something cute and then I'll cry happy tears. And <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Anytime there's something on that's nice, like an, someone says something cute in a song or a cute commercial, I'll be like, that's so nice, and start crying. <laughs> um, so that's really funny, and <laughs> my husband gets a little laughing at me about it. And like earlier today, I felt so overwhelmed and emotional um, because we are going through a stressful time right now, but we're hoping it'll all get better soon and won't be so stressful. But yeah, so um, we got home from our trip today, so it was all day driving, um, and I was pretty exhausted. And then we came inside, and we're just like, oh. And then I was just so overwhelmed. I was just crying, crying. And then um, yeah, and then I was then I was just feeling kind of down and stuff. And then my husband came in, and, I, and he's like, well, what'll make you feel better? And I was like, I don't know. I just want like ice cream or something. And and he's like, wait a second. And he remembered we got like this black forest cake. <laughs> so he got me a piece of it and I literally like sobbed in his shoulder because I was so happy. <laughs> I was like, thank you so much. It's so nice of you. And I don't know, it's so funny. <laughs> and like the cravings are insanely real. I'm craving Clamato juice and um, just anything tomato, Greek salad, um, cucumbers and tomatoes are my main ones. Just oh, anything like that, I'm just think about it and I'm like I need that right now <laughs> and if I have it I'm like in heaven I'm just like this is the best thing I've ever had in my life um, so the cravings are definitely real and I've had orange juice too that's a craving um, but mostly tomatoes <laughs> it's kind of funny but yes the other um, I haven't really had any cramping this week week but that's I think that's a good thing um, it's kind of made me nervous that they disappeared but it's definitely like, I can feel it once in a while. I can definitely feel still, like, growing in my uterus and, like, um, stretching feelings and everything, but definitely way less than it was last week, um, and in week four. So, yeah, but, um, that's probably a good thing, and it just, it's, from everything I've read and everything, it's just your uterus stretching and growing, the round ligaments growing, um, kind of thing, or stretching and pulling, and... It kind of comes and goes, just depends. And it's pretty much been replaced by nausea. I feel either sick to my stomach or nauseous all the time, and I have really sore boobs. Um, I still have very sore boobs, and very big, heavy kind of boobs, and um, definitely very bloated still. Um, nauseous all the time, and TMI. <laughs> Mostly constipated. Um, if I'm not constipated, 
it'll be the other way. <laughs> um, but that'll usually only last for like one time and go back to being constipated. So it's a lot of digestive issues <laughs> happening. Um, but that's okay. That's just because of all your hormones in your body. Um, and yeah, just like once in a while I have like cold symptoms. Like today I'm feeling really hot. And also I keep on having a stuffy nose and a dry throat very thirsty and just like so many things going on but I'm very thankful for all the symptoms because it makes me feel good and reassured that everything is growing and doing well. So that is my um, early six week update. I just turned six weeks like yesterday so I'm about six weeks one day. Definitely update you guys soon. Um, I wish you guys all the best, lots of baby dust and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!
Thank you.